Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we have episode number 7 of the Cardiff City career mode. Thank you guys so much for the support on these previous or the previous episodes of this career mode. Um, this is by far my most viewed career mode um, ever I've ever done like on any channel or whatever um, so I'm really appreciative of that uh, if you could leave a like on the video that'd be greatly appreciated as well we've been smashing over like like a lot like a high amount of likes um, compared to what I was expecting from these videos even seven episodes in we're still getting a, a lot of um, positive feedback I guess and then yeah so it's all good comment down below um, your thoughts and opinions on the video. I also, at the end of the video, I do leave um, the last like two minutes or so is like talking about January transfer window. Um, so basically, I'll say it now, but you'll get a more in depth thing at the end um, of the video. Comment your thoughts on potential signings for January. I'm not going to have much money, so I might be able to make one or two signings. Um, so make sure you comment them down below. Literally, it doesn't matter how many you have, just put them in the comments what positions you think that I should change uh, in terms of signing so subscribe if you are new to post notifications on so you don't miss an episode i will be bringing out a new career mode on friday so you have uh, that to look forward to also the end of the juventus career mode is upon us uh, on thursday i think I'll, I'll have the last gameplay episode which will be a live game of the cup final that i'm in so yeah look out for that uh i should be posting every day this week monday for all oh, it's now tuesday so i'm posting this today tuesday all the way to through till friday hopefully um, that's my aim. Um, so yeah, thank you guys um, for the support and all that. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the highlights. So far, most most of the highlights that I've been talking over, talking about something else. Um, there wasn't many crucial highlights in the game so far against Southampton. Um, this is probably a game we should potentially be winning uh, in terms of like the teams' like levels of like um, ha like balance and like in terms of the league and like the players and stuff so yeah we get a great chance there of Loftus cheek with the header unfortunately the keeper makes a great save uh we were unable to get a rebound of any sort but we do get a throwing here in the corner of the um the corner of the southampton half uh, unfortunately narsing couldn't really do much of it but we do get another throwing narsing to hoyler hoyler back to the center mid into harry Arter, and um armstrong there makes a great block there to stop the shot from Harry Arter. we get another corner here whipped in Loftus Cheek is there so is Harry Arter, but unfortunately we could not get a shot on target anyway moving on Connolly plays a ball to Narsing who plays a delightful ball across goal Hoylet great shot and it hits the post and bounces out off the keeper for a corner uh, really nice volley there uh, Bobby Reed jumps up wins the header unfortunately it goes out for another corner uh, blocked again Hoylet whips it in straight to Bobby Reed again unfortunately this time again we get another corner um, repeating ourselves uh, three times there Reed couldn't get to that one this time uh, there's been five added minutes Hoyle plays a lovely ball in and we get a great chance with uh, the centre back there um, Morrison I think it is uh, but unfortunately that was half time we didn't get any uh, goals which we had a lot of chances to get goals here against Southampton in the first half really annoyed that I didn't score at least one or, or even two. Um, nice play from Narsing and Connolly and Harry Arter. Eventually ends up with Loftus Cheek. Tries to cut the ball back and go the other way, um, but unfortunately he was unable to execute that fake shot perfectly. Uh, and Southampton hit us on a quick counter here. Literally one touch passing, and then we end up getting the ball back up the field. And then we lose it straight again. Uh, and then the ball gets played to Armstrong, plays it into Shane Long, who drills it into the top corner. And we unfortunately take a 1 0. Um, setback in this game. I decided to bring on a Rigi uh, for Bobby Reed. Reed didn't really have a great game in this game, so I decided to bring a Rigi on just to give me some uh, power, I guess, and strength up top with a little bit of pace. Um, unfortunately, uh, we just weren't able to get the ball into. Uh, I think that was Loftus Cheek. Uh, we get the ball of uh, Harry Arter edge of the box. Uh, goes to play it across to uh, Cunningham, the left back. Plays it back to Arter into. Casamara, I think no, I'm not even know how you pronounce that name. I need to say that because every time I get he gets a ball, I just say centre mid. Anyway, uh, Shane Long and Romeo linking up there. Uh, Romeo plays a really nice pass out to El Yunusi. Uh, El Yunusi cuts back to Shane Long, wins the header against um, Morrison. I th uh, no no Cunningham, the left back, and Shane Long gets his second of the uh, episode, which is very frustrating because. Uh, we'll go 2 0 down in the 71st minute. We haven't, we've only got like 19 minutes or so plus out of time to try and get a comeback here. Uh, it's not looking great for us. 
at all in this game, uh, especially when Shane Long scoring two goals against us because he doesn't really score many goals in real life. So, um, yeah, not great uh, for us there, unfortunately, 2-0 down. Uh, but we do push on and we get another chance here with Origi into Loftus-Cheek, down to Narsing. Can he dink it back? He can dink it back. Harry Arta volleys it first time. It's unlucky there, the defender cleared off the line and then we get a nice little shot there, dipped uh, quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get a goal. Uh, Hoylet here, nice finesse, was probably going on target, but gets blocked by the defender, and we go for a corner again. That's like our sixth corner of the game. Uh, Hoylet whips it in, Origi's front post, loops it over the keeper, but unfortunately, it does it goes over the crossbar as well. Um, we pick up the ball here, plays a nice ball out to Connolly, um, takes another touch, whips it all the way to the back post. I think Hoylet's just about to get that, uh, but he doesn't because the defender blocks it. Comes back out to Hoylet. Uh, he tries to take it past the Lamina there, but it, unfortunately he blocks it and reads the, the cutback. Um, we get another corner again. Origi there, boom. Is he going to score? No. Stevens somehow, after the keeper saves it, uh, heads it away from going into that top corner, which was just crazy. Anyway, um, we get the ball back out to Cunningham. Takes an awkward touch there. Plays it inside to Arta. Arta to uh, Camarasa. Uh, Connolly drills one straight at the keeper, though, which is unfortunate. And this is going to be the end of the game. Uh, I'm going into a live section now. Right, guys. Um, unfortunately, as I was recording, obviously, um, you've just seen the Southampton game, which we unfortunately lost. Uh, halfway through the recording of the Watford game, uh, my uh, computer crashed, and I lost the about 80 minutes worth of the game completely. So I was like, there's no point recording the rest. So I'll just have to come to the calendar and tell you what happened. So as you can see there, we lost 2-1. I don't, it's like the Southampton game, I don't know how I didn't win, honestly. We scored in like the 86th minute with Hoyler, who had a fantastic game by the way. Uh, it, it just, they had like, it felt like they literally only had two chances that whole game. I had so many chances throughout the whole game. Uh, it's, oh, it was just really annoying. It's really, really annoying that, uh, that my computer crashed and I couldn't keep the footage. Um, so, what I'm going to be doing now, obviously, uh, I'll go off record and then do my normal post commentary. I'm going to do the United game as my phone just goes off. Uh, we're going to do the um, United game, Palace, and we're just going to do the Leicester one as well for this episode 7 to get all of the games in. And then we've got, um, obviously, January in the window with four games in. So, sorry about that, guys, about the Watford game, but um, not much I can do. Um, so, hopefully, you guys do enjoy the rest of the ep uh, episode uh, and video. And, yeah, moving on into the game against Man United. Right, guys, we are back, and we are up against... One of the biggest teams in the league, Manchester United. We're at home though, so we hopefully we can use that home advantage to try and salva at least a point. That's all I'm hoping for, at least a point. Uh, I don't mind if we don't win because obviously against Man United, it's a very strong position. Um, they'll be looking to take all three points off us. So <clears throat> we start off uh, quite sharp with Loftus Cheek and Harry Arter linking up, and Harry Arter does uh, get a shot off, but it's a comfortable save for Romeo in goal, not De Gea. Um, I don't know if De Gea has actually moved on from Man United or he's injured or I don't know. Anyway, uh, the ball gets played into Origi, drags the defender away really well from Origi um, into Hoylet. Hoylet was pace even though he's like 28 years old, drills it into the bottom corner and that is 1-0 to Cardiff City. Really, really nice goal from um, Hoylet there. Uh, Origi did most of the work to be honest apart from Hoylet driving on in. Loftus-Cheek here, picks up the ball to Origi, Origi back to Loftus Cheek, great ball to Hoylet, Hoylet tries to whip it back post and Narsing but uh, the keeper read it and the direction and power wasn't really enough from uh, Hoylet there, anyway Origi gets a chance here, one touch, he take, he just delayed that shot by half a second, if he didn't then he probably would have scored, anyway corner, whipped in, going to Origi's head, unfortunately he does not get there, uh, before Romeo can punch it out. Loftus-Cheek receives the ball. Great little flick on from Harry Arter, by the way. And then Loftus-Cheek's shot is blocked. Get another corner. We seem to get so many corners in like every game. Um, Origi's header was the last touch of the first half. Um, quite unlucky to not score there, to be honest. Um, Origi now, second half in. We have the ball. Plays out to Narsing with a delightful through ball uh, over the top of the back line of United. Into... Origi into uh, Loftus-Cheek, he tries to shoot, that was a shot, I'm not going to lie, uh, but it nearly ends up to Hoyler, but somehow deflected along the way. Uh, Harry Arter's front post, unfortunately he's quite small, he's never really going to win that header against someone like Chris Smalling. Um, go for a long shot here with um, Casa uh, Camarasa, who um, was not 
far away, I'll tell you that. Uh, keep him out to make a good save. Again, it's a poor delivery. That's two corners in a row. It's been poor. Loftus Street drills one. That would have gone top corner if Romeo didn't pull out a world class save there. Uh, we're dominating United at this stage of the game. Um, Harry Hotter wins ahead of there. He nearly looped the keeper, um, but the keeper had that covered all day long. Now, Pogba plays the ball out to Martial, obviously. He ends up getting the ball back, gives it to Rashford, lays it off to Martial, and yeah. Um, never really going to save that, am I? Top corner, the bottom of the net even moved up. Uh, just shows how powerful that was. Unfortunately, we go, we do like concede a goal, and we go. Uh, it goes 1-1. Origi, really nice chance there, hits the post. Any other day, he probably would have scored that. Um, just so unlucky to hit the post from that um, position just outside the box. Ampadu picks the ball up from an Origi throw to Loftus-Cheek, drills one, hits um, Darmian there on the chest, and United start a counter-attack of their own. Um, Pogba, uh, Williams, I don't know if that's... Um, or William, I don't know who that is, if it's William Carvalho. Origi gets the ball. <sighs> Another great save from Romeu. <clears throat> I just don't get it. He's played quality this game. He's kept United in the game, that's for sure, um, 100%. Uh, really frustrating game uh, as you can see the game is going to be over within like five seconds uh, yeah there we go even less than that so we unfortunately we, we get a draw which is what I was expecting for that game so I'm quite happy with that now we move on to an away game in the snow against Crystal Palace now let me just tell you this is probably one of the worst games I've ever played of career mode in terms of on FIFA 19 ultimate difficulty it was just I just don't know, nothing was happening for me. I felt like I dominated the game and I just got like joked like by the scoreline, which you'll eventually see. Um, 1-0 to Palace there. Um, don't even know who that guy is. Uh, never heard of him before. Poor defending from Bamba there. Uh, no, Decore, sorry. And I don't know what I was doing. It was in frustration. I just snapped him um, off the ball. And I think you already know what's coming. As you can see in the top left corner of the screen, we do pick up a red card from Decore. Uh, and the free kick from Townsend, I do believe, was not on target. Well, it was on target, wasn't great at ball. wasn't a great shot. Anyway, <sighs> another joke of a goal. I, great ball from Max Meyer. Um, but it just, it's just... Oh, Kakai. Who even is Kakai? Um, anyway, he scores a header, back post from like an impossible angle. We get a nice... This is probably our goal of the season, to be honest. Um... Just literally one touch passing from about five players, and Mendes Lag just slides the ball underneath the keeper to pull one back for us. You know, we got a man down, uh, 10 versus 11. We pull one back, and that's just the start of uh, hopefully a recovery from this game, which has been a shamble so far. Mendes Lang gets the ball again, takes a nice touch. Great save from uh, the keeper there. I think it's Spironi, I don't know if, if that's still the keeper for Palace, because um, it started with an S, so I'm not really sure. Anyway. Uh, Wal Prowse wh whips the ball in. Benteke, how is Ampadu not winning that header? Uh, he's goal side as well when the ball gets played to him. And Benteke just loops it past the keeper to make it 3-1. 87th minute now. Um, the ball gets whipped in to Benteke. He scores another header. I think Benteke came on as a sub as well. And he scored two headers within like 10 minutes of being on the pitch. It's a joke. Oh, and they're not they're not done there. Townsend whips the ball in. Flipped on by Wal Prowse. And uh, it's a great save by uh, the young keeper there, who's had an unfortunate day at the office. 4-1 um, down, it's not great. Whipped in, keeper tries to come out and punch it. And of all people, Martin Kelly scores a header to make it 5-1. And I repeat that, 5-1 to Palace. So, um, yeah, not a great day out for Cardiff at all. We've struggled this episode. We picked up very minimal points in this episode. Um, now we move on to an even tougher game away to Leicester. Um, not a great, not a great game, not a great um, team to come up against when you're on a, when you're on the run of form that I'm on with Cardiff. Um, we start like the previous episode. We were having such a good uh, like run of form, and then now we're just kind of like um, dipped quite a lot. So um, yeah, the start of this game there was quite a lot of like. Um, uh, highlights within the first like 10 minutes or so so I just kind of left it and just wanted to like show you um, like I normally do I normally just try to show the first like a few minutes of a game after the kickoff and yeah this does end up in a goal uh, with, from Silva there uh, Andre Silva uh, really nice finish to be fair you can't really take it from, take it away from it it was a nice finish um, Origi and Hoyler straight off the kickoff 
uh, going back up the other end. Hoylet cuts inside, nice turn. Can he score? He drills it and he bottles it. She's near the penalty, literally on the penalty spot, and he bottled it. Uh, Vardy gets the ball played into him. Uh, yeah, goal. 2 0 within 12 minutes. That's two games, three games in this episode. I've just conceded two goals really quickly. It's really annoying uh, to me. Anyway. Not really much happening in this game until the 74th minute where Narsing drills one into the top corner. Really nice finish there from him. 2-1 now. Um, can we pull something back? Now, again, this is where players like this come up and they save us. This is why, this is how we save us from getting relegated or getting a decent high rated uh, finish in the league. Because people like Loftus-Cheek, he scored so many goals for us so far this season, puts it into the... Um, roof of the net in the 92nd minute there to seal another point so we've only drawn we drew a few games and then lost a few but this is going to be the end of the game let's get into the live section of the transfer right guys this is going to be the end of the episode if you did enjoy the video please leave a like uh on the video come on your thoughts down below as well also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any episodes or videos on my channel and um, uh just quickly before we do sign this off you are still here uh, I am now in the January transfer window. Um, obviously, this is the end of this episode, but I just wanted to say it because uh, I want to upload this video and then leave it for a few days to see the comments for people that um, or players you want me to try and sign. Um, our budget, I don't believe we have much. Yeah, but we could easily sell on. Uh, we could at least sign one player, I reckon. Um, but yeah, we got a decent um, end towards the season. We, oh, wow, we got Liverpool in the FA Cup, which is not great busy month in January and then February's a few, a few more games it, it, yeah basically um, January transfer window now so obviously I want to see you guys comment down below players you do want me to sign and I'll try and make some signings most of the signings that you guys make will probably be done in the summer but um, yeah uh, yeah that's it that's it for now thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video peace